How does the refrigeration circuit work inside a heat pump? We'll see it today. Well explained and clarified. Even for those who don't do this for a living, if you haven't done it yet, but subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell next to it to get a preview of all my upcoming videos. Hi, here we are. Today I want to explain to you, step by step, the refrigeration circuit inside the heat pump. Then we'll look at each individual component and functionality in other videos. We'll see it opened up, so we can really understand all the techniques behind a heat pump. Well, let me introduce myself. I am Samuele, and I help families live without gas. That is, we're going to disconnect the gas supply from homes, so that they no longer receive the bill. And I don't do it alone, of course, but I do it through a network of trusted partner installers. If you also want to turn your home into 100% electric, go to the link above or the link you find in the video description. Today we're going to look at the entire refrigeration circuit. Then in other videos, as I mentioned, we'll look at each component one by one. This is a series of technical videos for those who want to delve deeper into the topic of the heat pump. We have recreated the refrigeration circuit here in an expanded way, so you can really understand how it works. This can work both as a heat pump, so heating but also as cooling. So your home refrigerator has more or less the same components, a bit more simplified. Today, we'll instead look at how it works as a heat pump, that is, how the machine provides heating. Here in the center we have a compressor. So, the heart of the system, as you can see, is the center of the system. The compressor, that's what raises the pressure of the gas and increases the temperature of the gas. Because the hotter the gas is, the more I can obviously heat the water. Once the gas is hot, and under high pressure, it exits the compressor and goes to the condensers. That is, a plate heat exchanger that allows me to heat the water. In fact, in this heat exchanger, as we will see in another video, hot gas circulates on one side, and water circulates on the other side, which gets heated by the expanded gas. Once it exits the condenser, we go into the receiver, and once it leaves the receiver, we go into the dehydrator filter, which helps retain moisture. Don't worry, we'll see it later once it's open. Once it exits the filter, there's a gauge that allows me to see if there's moisture inside the refrigeration circuit. And at this precise state of the gas, it then goes to the expansion valve. Fundamental component. Often we don't have a mechanical expansion valve, which we will then cut open to understand how it's made on the inside. A fantastic tool. And then we go to the evaporator. The ev 